In today's video, we'll be making nitrocellulose out of the cellulose fibers that I made from wood in the previous video. Here, we're adding a strong dehydrating agent. This is used to pull the water out of the reaction mixture. After we let this cool to 15 C, we can turn on the magnetic stirring and start adding our nitrate salt. This will form nitric acid in solution and will react with the cellulose to form the nitrate ester. After some additions with heavy magnetic stirring, there is a color change. This is probably due to iron contamination because of the dye, but I'm not 100% sure on why. Once we added all the nitrate salt, we can start adding our cellulose fibers. Right here, you could see me adding the cellulose, and there's quite a color change. I'm not exactly sure on why this is, but it was probably due to the lignans. You can see that it almost turns to an oatmeal consistency and turns dark brown. Not usually good, but I tested the nitration mixture on some normal cellulose, and it did not change color. So this is probably due to the lignans or oils. Also, if you're wondering why I'm using my thermometer as a stir rod, I accidentally dropped one of my stir rods and I didn't go back to use another one. So yeah. Right here, you can start to see the color change. It's very dark brown, which is not typical of nitrocellulose, but yet again, this is not typical nitrocellulose. Right here, you can see the oatmeal-like consistency, which is probably due to me not blending it fine enough. Here, we're adding the nitrocellulose to some water, and yes, I will be neutralizing it later, but I do not have this on video. This is just to remove most of the acids before neutralization. Here is what it looks like after neutralization. Uh, it's very yellow. Not your typical nitrocellulose. Now for some burn tests. This right here was recrystallized from acetone, doesn't behave well, unlike the unrecrystallized stuff. Due to the weaker fibers, you can grind it into a powder, increasing the surface area and flammability. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.